You know, one of the most encouraging aspects about our relationship with God is that He is God. I mean, not only is He available to us, not only is He our shepherd, not only is He the friend that sticks closer than a brother, not only is He the great comforter of our souls, but He's God the creator of all things. I mean, you know how this book opens in Genesis chapter one. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the great thing about our relationship with this creator is he's good, he's faithful, he's consistent, and he's forgiving. Listen to how the psalmist describes our great God in Psalm 145. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and great in mercy. The Lord is good to all and his tender mercies are over all of his works. See, we serve this God who's the creator and the psalmist describes him as this one who's full of compassion and his grace and forgiveness are available to all. Now you may be asking, well, how is this creator good to all? He's good to us through his son, Jesus. You know, it's interesting about the Bible. The first two chapters of the Bible and the last two chapters of the Bible are the only chapters of the Bible that have no mention of sin. But everywhere else in the Bible, it has everything to do with how God has been so good and so gracious to us in sending his son Jesus to take our place. See, God, this creator, he is good and compassionate, just like the psalmist says to us, because he has sent his son, Jesus. And the great thing about the promise of this creator, the great thing about the Bible, those first two chapters, Genesis 1 and 2, where God is the creator and there is no sin, well, you and I, we are headed to a place, our destination is such that one day there will be no more sin, no more sorrow, no more pain. The last two chapters in the Bible, just like the first two, mention a space and a time where there will be no more sin. Let me read to you, if I can, from the book of Revelation. Revelation 21 verses 3 through 5, I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. He will dwell with them and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There'll be no more death, no more sorrow, nor crying. There'll be no more pain for the former things have passed away. And he who sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. We live in a world currently where sin wrecks everything. The world that we live in is not the world as God originally created it. It's a world where things like COVID-19 are a very real reality. But here's the truth. We're headed to a day where there'll be no more sorrow, no more pain, no more shame, no more sickness. See, the great thing about our God is that he is God, creator over everything. And this God has been faithful to us in giving us his son, Jesus, so that one day you and I will get to experience a whole new life of forgiveness and restoration like never before.